Hello and welcome to episode 100 of the Boot Nerds podcast. Jay, we made it. How are you doing? I am uh, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling great today, my man. A hundred episodes in. Who would have thought it when we started the podcast? I mean, it feels like a, you know a lifetime ago. Um, I was sat up against the ugliest white background you can imagine. A really weird mic setup, and we had absolutely no idea what we were doing. You know, people might argue that we still don't. That's a fair point, but uh, but still, we made it a hundred episodes, and uh, today we have something quite special for you, uh, which we're going to reveal in. A li- oh, okay, you've seen it on the title. We're going to design a pair of uh, Nike materials on Nike ID, Nike by you again. But before we do that, uh, if you have enjoyed the Boot Nerds podcast up until now, so far, please leave a like on the video. Um, leave a comment in the comment section with either your question that you'd like us to answer or just your favorite moment or quote or weird moment from, uh, from the podcast if you have been with us from the start. But with that said, Josh, how is life in Canada? 100 episodes into the Boot Nerds podcast? Uh, s- still very snowy, just as it okay, was last snow. week. Um, nothing's really changed here to be completely okay, honest with you guys, enough. but, uh, I did want to say a huge thank you. Cause just last week we did launch, uh, pure sleeves classic, which is basically the product that you guys were asking for since we launched pure sleeves. It's a longer version over the knee, uh, sleeve, obviously different material, longer, not quite as tight as the other one. So it's a little bit more of a traditional feel uh, and they're available for 1199. Uh, again, your support has been awesome. Um, just with the whole pure brand in general. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has shown interest in the brand, um, let alone purchase the product. And they are, of course, available now at puregripsocks.com in either black or white. A lot of you guys have been requesting for more colors as well. We are going to try to make that happen as soon as we can. That's, that's, that's what I'll say. But there's some that's- really cool stuff coming. Sounds sounds cool. Uh, I, on behalf of of everyone who showed interest, um, you're welcome. Um, and uh, and also, you know, thank you. I think from the community for 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 doing this stuff. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just it's just nice to see that that we have someone like actually pushing to 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 do proper good stuff at, at really really uh, f- the lowest price possible. It's. Um, there's been a hole in the market for a while. So, so yeah, kudos for that. And I think it's great to see that it's not just, you know, me, obviously, because we're friends, but, but people out there, you know, like coming out to support, that's it's really heartwarming to see how strong the, the, the community is. Um, I, I think that's awesome to be like standing on the sidelining and, and watching that. Um, plus I need some red pure sleeve classics. Okay. Make it, make it happen. Make it happen for you. Anyways, Joss, uh, speaking of colors, uh, today we have the chance to choose for ourselves because uh, just like we did last year, which was really popular, um, we are designing our own Nike materials on Nike by you. Uh, I hope that my pair will actually show up this time because <laughs> uh, they didn't last time. And um, what, twice, actually? Uh, that was, was a, that was a mess. Um, so fingers crossed, we're going to do better. What we're going to do is we're going to screen record while we uh, while we do all this stuff, and basically we're going to take you through the entire design process. Um, Josh, are you going to go? You can do a superfly. You can do a vapor. What are you going to go with? I'm going for a vapor because I just think that they look significantly better, and I like the little tail on the back, and I feel like that's a big customization option that I don't want to give up. Yes, uh, I was going to do a super fly because it's just something about that, you know, I think I'm a little bit mad at how it looks like a super fly five color, but it's just like, a, it's a sleek look and um, I'm doing a vapor because, <laughs> because uh, you know, tail fin, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. I'm with you. So I have, I can't see your screen. Um, I have this like custom Nike, whatever it's black and red and Green, I guess, light green. Mm-hmm. Um, we're just going to get started, I guess, with the color and the laces. So what do you want to do here? You said you had played around with this a little bit. I have, because I knew I we were going to do I this. I, I figured it was more fun <laughs> if I just didn't go on here at all. So I've completely sure. avoided Nike ID. 
for this episode. I so have I, not been able to, and I'm sorry. I cheated a little bit. You cheated a little bit. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You're a boot nerd. What well, it's it's what I expect. That's that, that's that's the thing, right? See, uh, are you gonna are you gonna I'm, I'm gonna ask the question right now. I, I know a lot of people will will want to know. Are you gonna do another Joma Champion Max? No, no. That okay. was uh, we exhausted that option. And for those that did it, not it, see the original Nike ID Boot Nerds episode, I guess we could leave it that little eye thing in the corner. We can leave it there if you want to go watch it. But uh, yeah, I ended up making a Joma Champion Max themed Superfly Seven, which turned out great. Even Nike even allowed me to put Joma right on the upper. It was awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what, 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 which option are you going to go for here? Um, I, I like to start, it, it, I don't know. I'm so early. I don't know which direction I'm going in. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to stay white for now because I just oh, want to see where it's going to go. I'm going to go know. black. I'm going to go, go black. black. Yeah. Uh, if um, we move on to the underlay toe tip slash accent. Um, that is where you get the, the toe tip and the speed band, apparently. Um, so, you know what I think I'm going to go university red. University like, red. Yeah. It's not yeah. bright crimson or grape. A grape, that's a pretty I really orange. dig the grape. I don't know why it appeals to me, but it's just- I'm not, it's, I'm not surprised. It's one of those colors that I feel like I've never, or you rarely see on a pair of football boots. Right, but that's because it doesn't work, my man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But well, I know what you're saying. It is this kind of purple-ish. Uh, it's, it's a really dark purple, it seems. it Maybe maybe it does something. I might go back and change it later. I'm going to go University Red. Yeah, I'm sticking with black for now, uh, just so under, I can see. Underlay vamp. Okay, so it's, of course, the uh, the... the Top part of the heel and the, ooh, Hyper Royal. I see a trend here. Now this is gonna be tasty, Josh. Hyper Royal, laser blue, hyper, nah, Hyper Royal, that's a navy kind of thing. Grape, grape, could, no, Hyper Royal it is. See, Interesting. What, what I like to, what what I like about you know the new mercurials, uh, obviously this is bright crimson, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch bright crimson. I don't wanna you know I don't wanna associate it with this colorway um, or the other the the black colorway that's or dragonfly for that matter. But what I like is that you you really have so many you have so much going on in the elements underneath that that I think you can. I really like black. I like navy. I like red. You know that whole blaugrana um, Barcelona. I don't like Barcelona, but I like that the, the the color scheme. And then mix in with a little bit of like gold or brown or orange. That's like it always looks super classy. So uh, I'm a little bit. Where you at? I'm, I'm kind of looking at the electric green. It's 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 appealing to me for some reason. For the um, underlay vamp. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards this black, white, and green theme right now. I'm not entirely okay. sure. But, <laughs> that was but my I, I think it's very theme. weird. Isn't it strange? Like Nike ID is always a little bit hard for me because it's like there's so many things that you can make that look good, but you're legitimately kind of picking colors from the inside out on this new mercurial design, oh, yeah. which is, I don't know, it's just very hard for me to visualize a final product, you know? Yeah, you might. we might have to come back and like oh. revisit uh, the elements when... Man, I'm 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 killing this. This is amazing. 100%. White mesh does does it definitely doesn't work. Yeah, white mesh mesh should definitely be the mesh should definitely be pink blast. That is not gonna work. Ooh, you can ah that looks terrible. Electric green mesh. Ugh, that's not a good look. You think so? It kind of no, reminds me of like the Matrix, in in a, in a really really bad way, for for my boot at least. It's <laughs> yeah, like really. um, grape could be interesting, but still no. That's it has to be black for me. I know I'm a little bit on the boring side here, but I might skin. come back and redo everything. Um, okay, so skin upper is like the tint of the translucent plastic part. Yeah. I would Which, probably if 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 you're doing anything on like the um on like the inner workings of the boot in terms of colors, I would definitely go clear. Clear, yeah. Because I don't think because I, I don't know if you've seen the uh, prism black to prism prism. What's the what's the colorway called? Prism black, yeah. Yeah, prism X black or black X prism. The yeah, black, black tint. X prism, yeah. 
Yeah, those ones have the black tint and it mm. really hides almost all the details in the liner. Exactly. So That's if you're building, if you're spending the money on a Nike ID and you want like the uniqueness of your boot to stand out, I'd probably stay away from that particular Yeah, option. I agree. Okay, oh, so you can swoosh go. border and heel tap oh, is- Oh, so that automatically matches that. Yeah, that's a little bit of a shame, uh, but that gold, my, ooh, white. See, white is super clean, swoosh stands out, but the metallic gold uh, heel tap is something, uh, is a sight to behold. Gold is cool. I also really like silver. I feel like that's underrate, underutilized. It's yeah, but it's just a, like now. a matte silver. That's a little bit boring for me. Now I'm going to go white. That is going to look mint. FG plate. Uh, swoosh, swoosh. Okay, so that's the, wait. Oh, that's the swoosh underneath. So there's like the, 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 the outline swoosh and then the full swoosh underneath. Should I do grape just for laughs? Just for laughs. Or I could go metallic gold, just have that. Oh, the hidden gold. Oh yeah, I like that. Are you, are you on some sort of electric green trip right now? Sort of. I, I'm, I'm pretty much in no man's land. I would say I have, I am in no direction that makes any sense at the moment, but I'm still trying to figure it out. Right. Okay. Uh, where are you at swoosh? Uh, I was just messing around with the soul plate color. Okay. And now I'm Ollie, back to the swoosh. You, we're we're going to do FG, right? I think I'm doing FG. Yeah. I want to do AG cause it's, it's actually, it's a, it's a good plate. But FG looks miles better, so I'm gonna go with that. What do you think of the the um, the SG Pro, the new tooling? <gasps> oh SG. my god! Gold metallic gold outsole. That is the sickest thing I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Oh my lord! <laughs> uh, kind of matches my it's it's bronze. I know. Kind of matches my watch today. Um, like, ah, it, and it's, you know, it's going to flake like the second, uh, you touch a pitch, but. Oh yeah, for sure. Wow. Hmm. With that, with that said, Josh, with that said, the metallic silver also looks pretty dope and it matches the, the, the speed wing a little better because the speed wing is like a matte gold when you go metallic gold and the plate is more well, metallic. Yeah. See, I really like what I have going on right now, but okay. I'm also like, like that's pretty sweet. What I've just created. Are you are you on opinion. your phone right now? Can you show me just so I can get a reaction? Yeah, we're we're yeah. We need to uh, we need to do something. Uh, I mean, I need to switch it up. We're way too similar right now. Are we? I, I'm I'm, but I'm not set on this. I okay. I really want to make a grape colorway really quickly. <laughs> Just to see you where I'm at. You know should. what I'm thinking? I look at that grape color and I think back to, when, remember when Super the Vapor 4 came out? Oh yeah. And there was the two launch colors. Yeah, yeah. There was the orange ones with the black swoosh and yeah, then there was the like blue. the dark purple with the blue swoosh. That's right. the pair I had as a kid. And I'm just wondering. Same, same. Yeah, I cut off the lace cover. That was one of, that was actually my first Unisport video that was cutting the lace cover off with those. Yeah, like it I'm could just be kind of like it's it's like a, a mixture between that and the Superfly Two. Superfly Two is a little brighter, but I get what you're saying. Because I'm looking at that, and then I'm looking at this laser blue color. And I'm like, that's oh, kind of yeah. not terribly far off. But that would be pretty cool. Let me just go in. I'm just gonna finish this up. I'm just gonna go in and mock that up. And pretty plate heel color. Oh, oh medial text. Medial text. Give me enough. Characters to put J Mike. Yes. Yes, Nike. <laughs> that looks amazingly stupid. So basically, right now I have on on like the the instep of the boot, the right one says J and the left one says Mike. Oh, excellent. Yes. Excellent. What are you gonna put? I'm I'm undecided still. You're asking okay. me too many questions I don't have the answers to. Right. Okay. okay. I am definitely gonna Okay. So that's the vapor. I'm going to move into Superfly, which right now is a bit of a mess, and I'm just going to mock something up. Uh, talk me through your, your uh, thought process right now, Josh. My thought process is I've just made a mostly grape boot with <laughs> these laser blue accents, and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> because you're kind of stuck 
<laughs> with the fly knit colors. Yeah. That's Ooh, when you the do thing. it in white, that's actually not terrible. And okay. If I that in white. What is your mesh? Is that grape? Yeah, I went grape mesh. I went grape sole plate. And then I went laser blue swoosh. And then trying uh, to decide everything else okay. is extremely confusing. Yeah. Um, white. No, I, don't I am on some on some wild stuff right now. This is definitely not working for me. Uh, laser blue, should that be laser blue? Okay, but you know Ooh. what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you take this one, the grape one, cause it's, <laughs> yeah. Wow, See, this, I feel like this, this is the one color. This is how I'm thinking. No one's picking this. This is gonna be the least used Nike ID color ever. And I just wanna have that like something that's different. Especially with the flipping laser blue. I mean, if we actually, if we did white. Okay, That's what I, I kind of have like a white thing going here. If I change that. No. What about J? Okay, okay. That is kind of nice. But instead of like, yeah, that doesn't work. That definitely doesn't work. So, mm. okay, okay. 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 Okay, Jay. Well, 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 let's see. Let's see. Let's I'm see. I'm so lost. White color. That looks absolutely terrible, but roll with me. Roll with the idea, Jay. Oh, country flags. Gotcha. Plate color, heel color. This is a, this is a mess. This is a mess, but it just might work. This is going to be absolutely awful. I'm going to have to go with my first idea. This is terrible. <laughs> what am I on? Yeah, I'm in no man's land right now. Wow. This looks right now I'm mocking up that, um, that white, black, gold predator. Okay. Uh, and it's not working for me. Yeah, this is not, because I also want to do something slightly different, but that means I have to do game royal color or university. I'll try university red, see what works. Underlay toe tips. Okay, what about, oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have it now. I have it now. Oh, you going down. So I'm going to go all university red, like, Everything. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to get away from the red. I was just toying with the red. I don't want to do two red boots. Man, black and gold just looks so good. I know, man. Ugh. I know. That's Look, just I'm going to have to go with that vapor. I'm just looking at it again. I'm definitely going to have to go vapor because this is not going to work as I want it to work. Um, I'm actually considering a great mesh and it's not all red, all red, Jay. Red all day. Skin, upper, swoosh, borderline, heel, color, swoosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then- You know what's kind of weird, actually? I think this is the first time I've seen a Nike ID where you the laces and the fly knit stay the same color no matter what. Yeah, and that's the thing I love to have, if I do a red boot, I would love to have black laces. Like what I'm doing here with black laces, I know where I can go and get some, obviously. Oh but gosh. I mean, Daddy, this is actually not bad, you know. Mm. But this I is kind of, you know. That I really like now. Okay. You ever seen the Bruce Lee themed Kobe's? <gasps> yeah. I'm kinda, I kind of got something like that going right now. Okay. I think it looks pretty sick. What about the swoosh in black instead of gold? Swoosh border. But the problem is I can't go game royal for everything else underneath. I can go hyper royal, but why is there one type of like navy called game royal and then the rest of that, you know, the other similar colors are called hyper royal. So it's not, it's not the same shade of blue. That's yeah, that kind of messes everything up. And changing just the mesh color uh -huh. completely like 
It throws everything out the window. It does. It definitely does. Okay. Okay. I, I quite like this. See, this is also know. really nice. Um, think, think the what was it? That was the same. That that blue, blue chrome, uh, Copa Twenty Plus. Uh huh. You have actually made exactly that boot just as a super fly, and it looks very good. Mm. It it actually looks, I'm gonna say, close to outstanding. Oof, um, I really like how this looks. Can you see this? Uh. Yeah, that is naughty. That is actually yeah. naughty, my man. And I feel like that's something that Nike's never gonna make. Uh, oh, now you just now you've now I'm, I feel I feel conflicted about my vapor as well. That th what you've just did is better than what I've done. Okay. Customize. I'm I'm gonna. Okay. All right. I also want to see. I'm kind of ah, just curious. See, this is this is the, I think this is the one you just made. I just basically changed that uh, underlay quarter from uh, Hyper Royal to Laser Orange. Yeah. And it's spectacular. It's sweet, right? I would never pick Laser Orange, but it just looks looks good. How about I flip it around so I go underlay vamp Laser Orange. Mm. It's not as cool, but it's kind of cool. Okay. I just want to see. Would I rock these? Would I really rock these? Or is it too much? Something about the electric green is just calling me. You yeah, do, do it, man. Do it. I, I just want to see. Let's just do. If you black out the whole underside, black. Make that black. This has got to be one of the most like difficult Nike IDs. Because there's a lot of good options. But what do you pick? I'll make that clear. I feel like it stands out better. The skin, upper, the swoosh border, and heel tab. Make that green. Why not? Purple. Ooh, that's pretty sweet, actually. They don't give you enough options for the fly knit and the laces. No, I think that's, I agree. that's the problem. I'm going to have to go back to this. Yeah. It's got to stay black. And if we change this soul plate color. Mm. Like okay. But I think people are now slowly starting to get bored. So <laughs> we might need to wrap it up. I'll give myself one more minute and then I will... Okay. Decide I'm, between my two uh, boots. Okay, I'm reverting back to where I was before. That black, uh, black, red, blue. Yeah, that's orange. where I think I'm gonna go. We're gonna go red here. We're gonna go. Ah. Uh, vamp in laser orange. We're gonna go the mesh in black. Oh man, it just looks. So good. How do you not? I know. I know. And I'm we're always drawn towards the gold. <laughs> we're all we're almost making the same boot here, which means that I should maybe go with my blue design just to be a little bit different. Well, no, you should get what you want to get. Country flag. Hmm. Do I just go with the gold branding? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. There's no discussion. This is cool. This is cool. It doesn't matter if it's the same. It's just cool. At the back. That's how we. That's how we roll. Please select the size. Yeah, I want the U40. At the back. Great. Great stuff. I'll buy it later on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it writes it on the medial side. Ooh. You know it. Ooh, I don't know that I want that. No. That's too much. <laughs> I'm not into that at all. Can I just change the color of the swoosh? <laughs> Text, swoosh. 
Oh no, you don't get to choose it at that point. So ladies and gentlemen, while uh, Josh is uh, finalizing his boots, I'm, um, I'm pretty excited to see what he's, uh, he's gonna end up with. Uh, should we jump into some questions, Josh, just so we can- um, Yeah, let's do that for sure. Um, apologies for all the thinking. Hopefully you have enjoyed um, seeing us actually, uh, you know, designing these. And when we get the boots, well, you will know the thoughts that uh, went behind them. And I'm just gonna say that I'm still now conflicted about whether I'm gonna get uh, these superflies here on my screen or the vapors. I think we're gonna go with the vapors, but uh, yeah, let's see when the boots arrive, what I've, uh, what I've uh, decided. Anyways, um, questions, questions. I'm just gonna bring Josh up on the screen so I can see his face deep in thought as it appears. We mm. have a quest, uh, question here from, uh, from, before we do that, if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer in uh, episode number 101, leave them in the comment section right down below and we will get right back to you. But the first question is from Robert Miner. Hello, Jay and Josh. Hello, Rob. Do you know why the Adidas shoes no longer have NSG, non-stop grip? I wore the X16 Plus Pure Chaos back in the day, and I think that non-stop grip NSG worked very well, and I agree. Um, I think that they just realized that, well, they just moved on. It's like, why did they move on from carbon fiber in Nike? Well, they found something that is perhaps cheaper and um, does what they want to do as effectively to some extent. I mean, just moved on. Yeah, I, I think it's a combination of cost as well as general perceived interest. I, I think of the carbon fiber example from Nike had a lot to do with not so much that there was a lack of interest in carbon fiber, because there definitely was a ton of it. But when Addy comes out with the F50 Addy Zero and it's literally half the price of your Elite Series with carbon fiber sole plates, and that's apparently the reason why they're so expensive, you kind of have to move away from that. Yeah. And then when they could get the cost down, they brought it back and then they've sure. since I, not I, seen uh, it again. I have a theory on the NSG and I think that um, it, it was basically the response to ACC, right? Yeah. And um, I think Addy must have uh, watched a lot of SR4U and, and they will have seen how Josh um, trashed ACC um, and absolutely destroyed it without merit because ACC totally exists as we have proved on the <laughs> <laughs> never ending discussion. But um, I... I don't think they killed it because you hate it on ACC, but I definitely think that that maybe they realize that okay, it, it doesn't is not as big of a USP as we want it to be, and let's just try something new and see if any, anything else sticks. Yeah, you know it I mean? just it didn't catch on like ACC, so I don't think that there was yeah. reason for them to continue pushing it. True, true. Yeah. Um, did you finish your boots, by the way? Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm done where I'm at. I think I'm going to leave it here. Okay. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, how's MDSB7? Question for episode 100. Congrats, by the way. What do you think of the direction Nike boots are going in? It seems like the quality of the releases recently hasn't been as good as in years past. And even though there are boots with new tech, the actual quality isn't as good as in years past. For instance, the CTR 360s, uh, Hyperion ones, Vapor 13s, uh, over the Phantom GTs, TM4, and Vapor 14. Uh, so the CTR 360s, the Hyperion ones, the Vapor 13s are in in this guy's mind better than the Phantom GTs, the Legend 8s, and the Vapor 14s. Um, okay. Lots of questions, but what is your uh, thoughts on the future of Nike boots? On top of um, I, I think it's always difficult to say which direction Nike is going into. I think they're probably the least predictable brand out of, out of the big three uh, in a lot of ways, but. Uh, I don't know that quality is necessarily the thing to criticize. I think you can like an older Nike boot more than you like a newer boot, but I don't think that the quality has necessarily changed all that much going back five years. If you want to go back a little bit further, there's an argument to be made. I have noticed, and I'm not sure if you've made the same observation, but out of the three colorways of Mercurials that have been released so far, the Vapors have been made in China and the Superflies have been made in Bosnia. And I have noticed that the Superflies do seem to be a little bit nicer in terms of how they are put together, uh, very slightly, but there's definitely a difference. See, I never, I didn't really check where they were made. I totally should have, but but it's funny. I just felt that the super flies somehow feel a little bit better on your feet out of the box. Probably because they're made in Bosnia. 
And, and you know, we could make a whole podcast on this topic. And I, I pointed it out in a recent video that I made, and a lot of people seem to be interested in it. The reason why I haven't pointed it out that often is because it's usually not a big deal. What's normal in terms of what I've seen for the last 10 years out of Nike is when a brand new model comes out, for whatever reason, the launch colorways of the top end models tend to be made in Bosnia. I don't know why. And then as you go through, they tend to be made in China. And then every once in a while, you get a made in Bosnia pair. Typically, it's the limited edition ones, though, because mm-hmm. I think it's a lower production setup they have there. Um, but there's not usually a huge quality difference. The, the funny thing is that back in the day, you know, the made in Bosnia boots were the ones that people were, you know, they frowned a little upon them. Like, like ah, we want made in yeah. Italy. We don't want made in Bosnia. Now it's like, oh, we want the made in Bosnia ones because they moved to China. Obviously, the boots are still good and, and boot manufacturing has come a long, long way since then. But, but you know, I think the Hypervenom GX uh, was made in Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, um, it was. But but yeah, I, I definitely, I you know, I see where this guy is going. Uh, if we go back to the question that that... I wouldn't say the quality of the releases has gone down because I think if we look at the boots now compared to the CTRs, the Hypervenoms and the Vapor 13s, I think the boots are from from a quality perspective as good if not better as football boots go. But in terms of, you know, weight and and comfort and, you know, out of the box uh, playability, if we can put it like that, I think that... You know, if if you if you take aside like nostalgia and all that stuff, I think most people would get modern boots. I'm gonna discount the Vapor 13 a little bit here because it's 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 so recently released, right? But if we if we look at the Hyperman Phantom ones and the CTR 360 Maestries, um, I think they're nice boots and I love them for what they are. But would I go back now and swap my uh, Vapors or Phantom GTs for the Hyperman ones with those uh, lockdown issues, rollover issues that they had. I'm not sure. You know, if I didn't know anything, if the, if I didn't have that nostalgia, any emotional connection to them, I'm not sure I would make that uh, make that switch. If it's purely like on the playing um, comfort uh, point of view, I'm, I'm looking at it. What, what you, what's your take on that? Yeah, no, I think you're right in saying that a lot of people remember things as better than they are now. Because, mm. look, I have, you, as do you, you have a lot of these older boots, and it's it's fun to think like, oh, you know what, this kind of reminds me of this. And then you go back and try that older boot that you thought it reminded you of, and you're like, wow, this feels way worse than I remember. <laughs> yes. Like, I, I think we, I don't think we discredit how much things have changed progressed because I think progression is very much subjective, but I think the style of football boots in general have changed quite a bit where what you think you really like might not actually be what you like based on what you wear. You've been wearing being so different to what used to be kind of like mainstream going back even just five years. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't Um, don't know. I, I think in general football boots have been become easier and easier to break in more than anything. And I think that's the one thing that I notice whenever I go back to an older model is like, wow, these feel a lot stiffer. I feel like they don't fit as well. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's just due to the boot sitting and materials drying out or whatever it may be, but mm. it, it, I, I very rarely put on an older boot and think, wow, this is a lot better than what we have now. I agree. Uh, with a few exceptions, obviously, uh, we have the older uh, Adidas 11 Pro 2 SLs, which are still phenomenal. Uh, I still enjoy my Adi, uh, Adi powers, you know, wearing those once in a while. But I will say this, where I think that Nike were better, and now we're talking specifically about Nike, where I think Nike were better back in the day was on um, differentiation, right? So. Back then, a CTR felt significantly different to a pair of hypervenoms, uh, which also felt... It didn't feel very uh, uh, that different from a pair of vapors, but but each silo had something... They, it had a USP when it comes to technology and when it comes to fit as well, fit and feel, where it, it can be argued today that even though the, the new generation of the Mercs have been going back to the, the, the synthetic now instead of full knit they still feel somewhat like the GTs, 
And the legends, we have been, we've been, you know, giving the legend aid some grief because it felt more like uh like the phantoms and the materials than we would want it to, right? Still is mm-hmm. it's still a great pair of boots, but it just feels like they've been trending more and more towards um the same feel, that knit feel, somewhere in the middle, where if we had some 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 more like there were more outliers back in the day. Whether you like that or not. Yeah, I think, and I think they're sort of getting back to more differentiation from model to model with what they have laid out right now. But yeah, sure, when sure. Phantom GT originally came out, you look at that compared to the Mercs at the time, and I'm like, oh, that's yeah. two pretty similar products, right? Mm. So I, I think it's, while the marketing would always suggest that whatever is the latest thing is the best thing they've ever made, I think you're still going to have certain instances where brands just have a really good year and have a really good lineup. And I think a Puma as an example is, is in their moment right now. Like they're just, their lineup across the board is very strong Mm. and you can make an argument right now that Addy as a brand has really good differentiation from model to model, regardless of what your opinion is on their different variants, laceless, non laces or laceless and laced. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying. It's, 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 it's very easy to like look back on what Nike were doing before and say, hey, they had all these great models. Why did they get away from it? But I think it's also very difficult to constantly try to have new product and keep people interested as well as happy. So let me let me ask you this question. And I know it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a it's it's not a very nice question. Um <laughs> but out of all the brands, which brand would you say is in the weakest position in terms of, um, of of their entire lineup? What I, where this comes from is that I, you know, you mentioned Puma, and I was like, okay, yes, they can maybe improve from, from my point of view at least the, the future set a little bit, but if they change a lot, there's only one way, and that's down. Like like it, it, it will take a lot for them to go to the next step. Mm-hmm. Addy, I feel maybe they have a lot of strong products, but there's also some stuff like they if they if they make a wrong step with the Predator, they can really mess it up. If they make a wrong step with the X, the X can can become even better, obviously, but it can also like become a, a train wreck, right? Copa is definitely uh, we just talked about it before we went live. It's it's a very new direction, and it it you know we're we're yet to see if that is the right direction for the Copa, but. I feel like Nike are in a position where now the materials are still super strong. They need to do something to the legend. They can screw it up or they can get it really like back on track where it's like the leather go-to boot, right? And then there's the Phantom GT, which I think there is, there's a lot of room for improvement in, in, in especially when it comes to like the storytelling around the boot and, and making it special. Because I don't think, and, and tell me if you agree or not, but I don't think there's anything wrong with the boot if you, if you put it on, I think most people would like to wear it, but it just doesn't do enough in terms of uh, setting itself apart from everything else that's out there. It's a little bit bland, you know? Yeah, no, I think Nike has set a precedence to innovate. Mm-hmm. And when they don't innovate in a way that we know they can, I think we as consumers end up being disappointed, right? Sure. It's, sure. it's similar to like when we talk about Mizuno on the Boot Nerds podcast. Oh, which yeah, yeah. We almost, it's what it's been almost half, a little over half an hour and we hadn't mentioned Mizuno yet. But wow. I think when we as boot nerds talk about Mizuno and their new their new boot, there's a lot of people that say, hey, what? that's barely new. What are you talking about? Why are you excited, right? But that's a brand that has set a precedence on like, here are our base platforms that we know our customer base likes and we're going to improve and slightly evolve on those and the new model is going to come out and it's not necessarily going to be groundbreaking and super innovative. It's just going to be just a little works. bit better than what we had before. Yeah. 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 Where Nike, when they do something like the Phantom GT, they told this great story about texture and all this stuff about control and blah, 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 blah. It's we've seen texture on a football boot a yeah. million times yeah. before. There's, there's nothing about it that is, is groundbreaking or innovative in any it, it, way other than the story. Yeah, and it was the same. It was basically, they, they took the upper from the, the, the Vision 2s and they just rearranged the pattern a little bit. But by and large, it feels like the same. Ooh, it just like, You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I like it. I, uh, I'll i be honest. I like 
playing with it a lot. I just think there's definite room for improvement in terms of getting people sold on it, the way people have been sold on the Hypervenoms, for instance. Yeah, look, I think the big three brands, and especially Nike, they are expected to release a product that has a wow factor to Mm. it. Mm. And I don't think that there's much of a wow factor to a Phantom GT. I think that there wasn't much of a wow factor to the Tiempo. I think they kind of alienated that group of people that were hardcore Tiempo buyers and, and maybe drew some people away into other brands where the Mercurial is the Mercurial. Like, I feel like they could do a couple really terrible Mercs in a row and, and it would still be super popular. <laughs> and they have. <laughs> they yeah, have. It, it's just, it has that cult following. So I yeah, think that yeah. that's one of those lines where it almost doesn't matter what they do. But yeah, there's there's huge room for improvement, I think, with their other two silos at the moment. Yeah, maybe that's the thing, right? Because if you look at Addy, the X has the wow factor. The Predator has the wow factor. Copa, to some extent, because of the fit and the overall sleekness of the boot, has it can be argued, the wow factor. Nemesis also has a wow factor in, wow, that's really pointless. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it, the same thing with Puma, you know, they have the wow factor in, you know, how light or how well fitting uh, the Ultra and the Future Set is. And, and obviously the price. Mizuno have the quality, the, 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 the next level out of this wall of comfort. That's maybe what's lacking from Nike a little bit. Love the new materials. Phantom GC is a good, Legends are good boots. No hate, but they just lack that, you know, I'm going to go for those. Yeah. over all the other good stuff that's out there. And look, I, Nike doesn't need any help from, no. from anyone. We'll take they 10%, have, 10%. They, they don't need any help, but knowing Nike and the marketing geniuses that they've been throughout their entire football yeah, yeah, full credit. endeavor, half, half of me thinks that A, they're either really lucky and they're just, not releasing their best stuff in a time when people are less interested in football boots because nobody's allowed to actually play or they've simply reacted much quicker than all the other brands. And once everything does start to open up, which we hope will be as soon as possible, that's when we're going to see some, some really crazy stuff out of Nike again. Cause it's, if anything, it's been uncharacteristically slow as far as releases and colorway drops and just general hype from the Nike brand, I would say in the last six months. And, and I think a lot of that yeah. might have to do with the whole COVID situation. It, it's really difficult to say. Nobody knows the answer to that except for them, but like not seeing a Phantom GT colorway released for what, four months. That's crazy. Well, yeah, basically since the, the... Like pros pros were still wearing the launch colorway until like two weeks ago. Yeah, that was crazy. And obviously we had the whole uh, secret tournament, the Chrome one, but that, it's been, that's been a while, man. It's, that's, yeah. that's a little bit weird. And, you know, obviously things have changed because of the pandemic and I can't go more into that. Uh, but, but yeah, things have changed um, and been changed around. Anyways, we're, we're rambling here. Um, we have another question from Ozodbek Should Mongolov. Totally butchered that name. I'm very sorry. Uh, why he write Fruno Bernandez uh, on Josh's name in the last episode? Um, obviously, I do the editing, so I, I wrote that name. Josh, would you care to explain? Yeah, I mean, I still get these questions on in my comment section because people <laughs> do not like to call me by my actual name. They like to make up a name. And yeah. where that all came from had to be like three or four years ago now. I did a Q&A video on my channel and somebody wrote my name as, I want to say it was John or it might have been Jeff. And I just read it out as if, and I just continued on as if my name was actually John. And the comment section absolutely loved it. And ever since then, it's just been kind of a fun thing to make up different names for me. Yes. That's all. And now uh, then after finding like really stupid names for you, I just decided to t- like every time we take a new footballer's name and just swap the, the, the first letter in his first and last name. And we end up with some really spectacular names. Oh yeah. Uh, I so think it's the one of my Fernandez favorite is, aspects of the podcast. Yeah, I, I know. I know. It's, it's like, it's super fun. Uh, I also enjoyed Vami Jardy. That was a that was a good one. <laughs> Carrie Hayne, loved it. Anyway, so uh, Ozotbek, that is that is the reason. Um, it's a little bit of an in, inside joke. Um, so now you know the joke, and you can also you can also laugh at it. Um, I know we're a bit 
we don't have much humor in our lives. But that's the way, you know, that's the stuff I laugh at. Um, so, yeah. Um, Boo Collective. Not Boo Collective. Boo Collective. <laughs> this is a new generation leather boot for younger footballers. Uh, all kids like me prefer proper leather boots. Uh, referring to Copas. I imagine these to feel more like a material than a leather boot. Looks nice, but no thanks. Um, and I, I brought this question because just before we got started, you got the Copas in. And you said the following to me. Yeah. So when we re- when we recorded the last episode, you hadn't I had had the Copas. not no. had the Copas yet. I've had them now for about a week as we're recording this. And I was really surprised at how unleather like that boot feels. And I made the comments to you saying that I think you could change the leather out for either full knit or some kind of synthetic material. And I don't think the experience and general feel of the boot would actually change all that much. No. Which is weird. And it's not to say that they feel bad because they feel really good. I think they feel really good. That's the thing. Yeah. They feel really good. They fit well, Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's to, to slot that into the heritage category, which I think everybody traditionally wants to do with the modern Copa series. I'm not sure that it fits in there anymore. No, that, that's basically also, the, 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 it echoes what I said in my review that if you, know, if you are a, 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 a modern leather boot fan, well, you should look somewhere else. You should look at the Chimpos or the, the King Platinums or if, if you really want the good stuff, the Repulous, right? Um, I think the Copa kind of falls into its own category. This like, yes, it's leather. And, and, and to me, it, I definitely, if, if, if I was blindfolded and wore the boots, um, I would still probably guess to them being leather because of that slightly cushion sensation you get on the ball. But I might also as well be fooled uh, if they had continued that knit foam um, composition throughout the entire foam. At least I, I like to believe that I still feel that, you know, there's a little bit of leather left on the boot, but I would still say that it is, as um, as Boot Collector says, like it's a new generation of leather boots with less leather and a more streamlined, you know, speed boot-ish fit because that's basically what it is, right? Is it a yeah. Mizuno Morelia Neo? No, I, I would say th- I would still prefer the Neos to the Copas. It's just that slight, it's a funny hybrid that sits in between the Neos and the old Copas that I, does it have a little bit of an identity crisis? I don't know. And it's hard to say because they're really, really good boots. I enjoy wearing them a lot. It's just hard to pinpoint who exactly they're for. Yeah. And I, I think you said a lot in, in- saying that if you had a blind, if you were playing blindfolded, you would probably guess that they were leather. Probably. And I think that's really strange. Cause look, I feel like I know football boots really well. Mm. And I feel like if there's one type of football boot that you could put on my feet and I would immediately recognize the feel of it's leather. Yeah. But the fact that you would have to probably think about it quite significantly and really feel it out to, to say, Hey, yeah, there's, there's some leather here. Like that's, I don't want to say that it's concerning, but it's surprising given sure, what sure. the Copa is supposed supposedly supposed yeah. to be. Either but it's, either it's either turned into knit, an experimental thing. Either the knit has gotten so good that it actually feels like leather, or the there's just not enough leather to make it feel like a leather boot. Do you know what I mean? I can't I decide I th- I whether it's, it's a- because the knit is very good or there's just too little. There's definitely too little leather. Wow, English. Do, yeah. I, do you know what I'm saying? I, I think it's a combination of both of those things. I think yeah, the knit is really soft. Mm. I was really happy with how it feels. But if you like take your thumb and you run it along the upper from the knitted part to the leather part, you can you can see where the seam is, but there's not a gigantic change up in feel. Right. It's certainly not like the Copa that it replaces where sure. there's a very distinct difference between the knitted part across the top of the foot and the leather part uh-huh, at the front. Uh-huh, yeah. These are two materials that now kind of blend into each other, which... Again, the, the whole design of the boot gives this look of flow and, and, and like fluidness of the material transitioning. And you're definitely getting that. Oh, definitely. It's just yeah. that that material as a whole doesn't end up feeling very leather-like, which no. is I probably think, the expectation a lot of people have. Yeah, I think you need to try them out before actually deciding on the, on the Copa Senses because it's a, it's a great fitting boot. And, and I know I was called out on the last episode for being like kind of, self-contradictory and uh, I, I tried to explain myself in the comments saying that you know yes there are some issues like with all boosts there are maybe a few more issues on the on the Copa Senses to me uh, but but the fit experience the actual experience of wearing them on the ball kind of makes up for those um, flaws 
and, and makes me want to wear those over the over the, the Copa 20s. Uh, and, and I and still think that's the case, but it's just like, you probably need to, f- to, f- to feel them to understand if it's a boot for you because you can't really just slab it into a category and just say, okay, I, I know yeah. that they're for me. And we're, we're over time, but just to <laughs> defend you and even defend myself, because I've been caught in these types of call outs as well. And I, I think it's the reason why neither of us do this rate a boot from one to 10, because I think it doesn't, <laughs> Uh, what makes a good review is telling the story of every little detail that has an impact on the experience when it comes to the, to the package as a whole. And you can have little criticisms of not enough leather or the, the heel liner is a little bit uncomfortable or whatever it may be. No boot is perfect at the end of the day. But I, I think that sometimes you can have a certain feature that is just so above and beyond good compared to all the other options that you have out there, it can raise up the level of the boot as a whole. And I think that's a lot of the experience I think both of us have had with this Copa where, yeah, it's disappointing that it doesn't have the magical leather touch that the previous model did, but it, it's, it genuinely fits really well. And as a laceless football boot experience, I think they've done a pretty good job. It's just yeah. not what we were expecting, which is why it's difficult to describe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. Um, one last question here before we, or uh, it's not a question. It's like, it is a question, but it's more like a comment. Is it just me, says Zimovit Kabac? Is it just me or does Jay look like, uh, a little like Bruno Fernandes, not Bruno Fernandes, but does Jay look a little like Bruno Fernandes with less hair and glasses? <laughs> and I, I mean, you, you tell me, you tell me, do I look like Bruno Fernandes with... A lot less hair and and glasses. I, I don't know where he sees the resemblance. Is it because we both have really ugly teeth, or or is it because we have a like a the the the, the sparkle of like being real born winners in our eyes? I I, I don't know what it is, but I mean, I kind of I kind of see it. I think I kind of see it. I get it. I you don't you don't look a lot like him, but you, you're, you have features that are definitely similar. And I think it's, I think it's always difficult because people tell me I look like certain people all the time. What? And I always look it up and I'm like, I don't look like that person. And then I show it to other people and like, Oh yeah, you kind of look like them. I think you just, you have a hard time comparing yourself to other people. Cause you like know your face much better than other people do. But I, I see the similarity. I see where he's coming from. <laughs> I, I can't see anything right now. Um, I can't even see. I can barely read it as Google on my screen. But is this Bru- is this Bruno Fernandez? I don't know. We'll more, this car- is more we'll this is more Bruno Fernandez than than Bruno, at least to me. But I mean, I thought it was a fun comment, and uh, yeah. Well, f- but fair enough. Apparently, I, I mean, the guy is a legend, so I'm cool. Yeah, it's it's not the worst comparison. No, it's not the worst comparison. You're you're right. What what would be the worst comparison? I guess I'm also a little bit of like Aryan Robin, Wesley Snyder, with the hair. Oh. <laughs> with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> same same haircut. <laughs> That's not the haircut you want. <laughs> it's, the, it's the way it goes. It, it's the way it goes. We can't we can't change all these things. And I don't have uh, Wayne Rooney level money to go and get a like a hair transplant. Um, and it's probably also too late. So uh, it's, uh, it's Wayne Rooney. I have a name request. I'd like to be Rain Rooney at one point. Rain Rooney. Uh, yeah. I shall make it happen. Uh, I think that's a good one. <laughs> it might already have happened uh, when when people are watching this. Uh, guys, with those words, I think it's time that we go and order our Nike ID boots. Uh, I'm excited to see which one I, I land on. I'm excited to see Josh's boots. And uh, we're going to show you everything when they arrive. But if you have any questions you'd like us to answer in the next episode of Boot Nerds Podcast, episode 101, you can ask the questions in the comment section right down below. Also, please go and support us with a like if you're having a good time. Go subscribe to Unisport and SR4U by clicking the bubbles over our heads and subscribe to the best podcast in the world by clicking the white bubble in the middle of the screen. You can also find us on Spotify if you don't like looking at well a poor man's Bruno Fernandez and with those words I've been J Mike and I approve this message <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for watching <laughs>